Bienvenidos al curso de inglés definitivo de Vaughan. Lección 8. Nivel avanzado. Gimnasia verbal. Even. Annie, what's up? I'm fine. Okay, good. Now, when I ask you the question, what's up, you should say nothing. Nothing. ¿Cómo que pasa? Okay. Nada. Nada. Okay. Okay. What's up? Nothing. What's happening? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, when we ask a question like that, saying, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Mm -hmm. If the question starts with what, what's up, what's happening, okay. you should answer nothing. Nothing. If we start the question with the word how, mm -hmm. how are things, how's tricks, they are good. We would say, I'm fine. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, good. Or fine, simplemente. Muy bien. We're going to look at even, which is, of course, our word for incluso. The important thing here is to concentrate on where we place the word even. It always goes before normal behaving verbs or non-auxiliary verbs, by which I mean 99.9999999% of all <laughs> verbs. Okay? Okay. Always before. Incluso hablo. I even speak. Yeah? I know. Incluso conduzco. I even drive. So before the verb, between the subject and the verb. Let's have a go. For example, John habla muchos idiomas, incluso habla polaco. Sería, John speaks many languages, he even speaks Polish. Not to be confused with Polish, que es el brillo para los zapatos. Sí. Polish. Se escribe igual, pero polaco, la nacionalidad es Polish. El idioma también. Ok, ella fue a muchos países diferentes, incluso fue a Djibouti. She went to many different countries. Countries, She... not countries. 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 Ok, como She... company. Company. Mm -hmm. Countries. Countries. She even went to Djibouti. She even went to Djibouti, that little country in the middle of Africa. Él tiene una gran colección de cuadros, incluso posee un Picasso. He has a huge collection of paintings. He even owns a Picasso. Okay, he even knows. Try and even blend knows. the two words together. Even knows. Even knows. He even owns a Picasso. Si no, estás diciendo, he even owns a Picasso. All right. It's very disjointed. So try to say he even owns. Como he si even owns a Picasso. Palabra. Muy bien. Perfecto. Vi a muchos antiguos amigos. Incluso vi a Paul. I saw hundreds of old friends. I even saw Paul. I even saw Paul. Good. Él tiene todo tipo de reptiles. So all sorts of reptiles. Incluso tiene serpientes. He keeps all sorts of reptiles. 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 Okay. He keeps all sorts of reptiles. He keeps all sorts of reptiles. Again. He keeps all sorts of <laughs> all sorts of reptiles. One more time. He even again the first bit. He keeps all sorts of reptiles. He keeps all sorts of reptiles. Huh? Sí, 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 sí. Venga, venga. Of reptiles. He keeps all sorts of reptiles. Good. He even keeps his snakes. S snakes or snakes? Snakes. He even keeps snakes. Okay. He even keeps snakes. Perfect. Right, now we're going to look at some examples using auxiliary verbs, of which there are only about 11 in the English language that we use on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a very, very small number of verbs, of course, including the verb to be, which always behaves like an auxiliary verb. Okay, okay. even in this case goes after the auxiliary verb. For example, he comido toda clase de pescado, e incluso he comido tiburón, sería, I have eaten all kinds of fish. I have even eaten shark. Even goes after the auxiliary verb have. I all have right. even eaten, I've even done, I've even been, I've even spoken. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one. Sally sabe tocar todo tipo de instrumentos musicales, incluso sabe tocar la gaita. La gaita se dice bagpipes. Bagpipes. Bagpipes, okay. Sally can play all types of musical instruments. She can even play bagpipes. She can even play the bagpipes, we would say. Good. Don't forget, we don't touch musical instruments. We play them in English. Very mm -hmm. good, Annie. Frank is allergico. Allergic in English. Frank is allergico a muchas cosas. Incluso es allergico al chocolate. Frank is allergic to many things. He's even allergic to chocolate. He's even allergic to chocolate, okay? He's even. So after he's the even. auxiliary verb to be in this case, yeah? He's even allergic he's, to chocolate. He's even allergic to chocolate. Good. Está lloviendo hoy en todas partes. Incluso está lloviendo en Sevilla. It's raining everywhere today. It's even raining in Seville. Okay, it's even raining. We have an auxiliary verb to be and a normal verb rain, but it goes after the auxiliary verb. Okay, it's, and of course in this case, before the normal verb. Okay. As before. It's even raining in Seville. We can't say it's raining even in Seville. It's even raining in Seville. Good. No sé lo que voy a hacer hoy. Igual incluso me quedo en casa. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I might even stay at home. I might even stay at home. Okay, while incluso, I might even. I might even do it. I might even speak to her. I might even tell her. 
Okay. I might even stay at home. Muy bien. If we want to emphasize another aspect of a sentence, for example, the subject, we always place the word even before what we want to emphasize. Mm -hmm. Okay? For example, uh, soy un desastre en la cocina, pero hasta yo puedo preparar una tortilla. I'm a disaster in the kitchen, but even I can cook an omelette. Okay. Of course, the translation here is more hasta than incluso. Mm -hmm. Hasta yo puedo preparar una tortilla. Even I. Mm -hmm. Okay, and again, we blend the two words together. Even I. Okay. Even you. Even he can do it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Another example would be Emily is antisocial, pero hasta ella se lo pasó bien. In English, we would say Emily is antisocial, but even she enjoyed herself. So again, leaving a slight pause after the word she. Even she enjoyed herself. Paul era un alumno pésimo. Pero hasta él logró aprobar. Lograr hacer algo es to manage to do something y nunca to get to do something. Con verbo, ¿vale? Ok. Paul was a terrible student. Student or student. A student. Oh, sorry. Paul was a terrible student, but even he managed to pass. Good. Even he managed to pass. Make the pause a little bit longer. Ok. okay. Mis padres son reacios a la tecnología. So I would say they are technophobes. Technophile, someone who loves all things to do with modern technology. And technophobes, someone who, or technophobe is someone who hates mm -hmm. computers and gadgets and things with lots of buttons on them. Uh, mis padres son reacios a la tecnología, pero hasta ellos utilizan internet. My parents are technophobes. Parents, not parents. 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 Mm -hmm. My parents are technophobes. But even they use the internet. Again, even they... Use the internet with But a pause. Even they use the internet. Good. Even they use the internet. Cambiamos. Mi mujer y yo no vamos al cine a menudo, pero incluso nosotros vimos aquella película. My wife and I don't go to the cinema often, but even we went to see that film. Let's look at some examples now in which we emphasize another aspect of the sentence. And again, we place even just before what we want to emphasize. Annie, can you give the examples in Spanish, please? Nieva con frecuencia en la sierra, incluso en mayo. It often snows in the mountains, even in May. Mi hermano mayor es infantil, incluso ahora. My older brother is childish, even now. Me comí todo lo que había en el plato, hasta la piel. I ate everything on the plate, even the skin. Invitamos a la familia entera, hasta a mi primo raro. We invited the whole family, even my strange cousin. Hasta mi coche consiguió llegar a la cima de la montaña. Even my car managed to get to the top of the mountain. Okay, good. Let's look at uh, the opposite of incluso, which is, of course is ni siquiera. In English, not even. Mm -hmm. Okay, as with all negative sentences, of course, there is always a modal or auxiliary verb in play. Don't do or the, the auxiliary itself. I'm not. So we all say, I don't even, I'm not even, I can't even. Okay, ni siquiera. Bien, let's have a look then. Ni siquiera me gustan las películas italianas. I don't even like Italian films. I don't even like Italian films. Good. Ni siquiera dio las gracias to say thank you. He didn't even say thank you. Okay, he didn't even. Todo junto. He, he didn't, didn't even, even say thank you. Again. He didn't even say thank you. Good. Ni siquiera... Me acuerdo del día en el que estamos. So, no me acuerdo, I can't remember. You know, I don't remember. I can't even remember what day it is. Good, I, it is. I can't even. I can't even again. I can't even remember. I can't even. I can't even. Yes, yeah, so I can't even remember what day it is. Good. Ni siquiera voy a decirte por qué. I'm not even going to tell you why. Good. En tu lugar, ni siquiera lo intentaría. If I were you, I wouldn't even try. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. Good, I wouldn't even. If I were you, if I were in your shoes, in tu lugar, I wouldn't even try. And of course, as with even, we can also emphasize a different aspect of the sentence with not even. Ni siquiera yo podría hacer eso. Sería not even I, una pausa larga, could do that. Not even I could do that. Y va siempre justo antes de lo que queremos enfatizar o destacar. Mm -hmm. No me gustan los refrescos, que son soft drinks, ni siquiera la Coca-Cola. I don't like soft drinks, not even Coca-Cola. Not even Coca-Cola, good. Nunca me ha gustado el fútbol, ni siquiera cuando era niño. I have never liked football, 
Not even when I was young. Not even when I was young. Good. Cambiamos. Nadie es más diplomático que los japoneses, ni siquiera los ingleses. Nobody is more diplomatic than the Japanese, not even the English. No me queda dinero para nada, ni siquiera para un café. I don't have any money left for anything, not even a coffee. La expresión de la semana, to ask a question. Annie, we never, ever, ever say to make a question in English. Having said that, everyone in Spain seems to say it. <laughs> I want to make a question. No, I want to ask a question siempre. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Quiero hacerte una pregunta. I want to ask you a question. Good. ¿Te puedo hacer unas preguntas? Can I ask you some questions? Me alegro que me hagas esa pregunta. I'm glad you asked me that question. I'm glad you asked me that question. Good. Me hizo una pregunta violenta, que sería an embarrassing question, an, y nunca a violent question. Okay. She asked me an embarrassing question. An embarrassing question. Good. Cambiamos. Nunca hago esa pregunta a las mujeres. I never ask women that question. ¿Por qué no haces la pregunta tú? Why don't you ask the question? Ella querría hacernos unas preguntas. She'd like to ask us some questions. Deja de hacerme tantas preguntas. Stop asking me so many questions. Gimnasia verbal. Let's. Everybody knows the expression, let's go, vámonos. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at some other examples of when we use let's, which is basically when we invite someone else to do something with us at, at this very moment, right now. Let's go. And it's the structure is very easy. It's let's plus the basic verb. Let's go, let's eat, let's run, let's jump, let's sing. Should we sing? No, <laughs> I think we better not. Okay, for example, vayámonos. Let's go. Tenemos. Let's have dinner. Let's have dinner, good. Empecemos. Let's start. Sigamos. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Good. Y mejor, y nunca, let's follow. Okay. Let's carry on. Or let's continue. Paremos de momento. Let's stop for now. Let's stop or let's stop. Let's stop. Mejor. Digámosles lo que pensamos. Let's tell them what we think. Good. Cambiamos. Pongámonos de huelga. Let's go on strike. Tomemos un té. Let's have a cup of tea. Quitemos la mesa. Let's clear the table. Hagamos un esfuerzo. Let's make an effort. We always make an effort and we never do an effort. Okay? Okay. So an esfuerzo is to make an effort. Vayámonos fuera de fin de semana. All right. Let's go away <laughs> for the weekend. The next one. Intentémoslo de nuevo. Let's have another go. Let's do some more examples now in the negative. This is very easy. It's always the same. Let's not. Let's not go with the basic verb. Let's not go. Let's not do. Let's not jump. Let's not be. Let's not be slow about it. And get going. No vayamos. Let's not go. No causemos problemas. Let's not cause problems. Good. No vayamos a trabajar mañana. Let's not go to work tomorrow. Let's not go to work tomorrow. Okay. No cortemos el césped. Let's not cut the grass today. Cambiamos. No continuemos. Let's not carry on. No vayamos al cine otra vez. Let's not go to the cinema again. No tomemos pizza otra vez. Let's not have pizza again. No hagamos nada. Let's not do anything. No vayamos a ningún lado. Let's not go anywhere. No llamemos a nadie. Let's not phone anyone. No invitemos a nadie. Let's not invite anybody. No pidamos nada. Let's not order anything. Qué positivos estamos siendo, ¿eh? <laughs> Phrasal verb, to get rid of. Last week we looked at the verb to shake off. Now we're going to look at a synonymous verb, to get rid of something, deshacerse de algo. Okay? We can't split this phrasal verb up. We all say to get rid of something or to get rid of it with a pronoun. Okay? You can't say to get rid it of. Okay. Comas. To get rid of something, to get rid of it. Bien, deberías deshacerte de tu viejo coche. You should get rid of your old car. Get rid of, todo junto. Get, get rid, rid of, of your old car. You should You should. You should get rid of your old car. You should get rid of your old car. Good. Ese chico no para de llamarme. No puedo deshacerme de él. That boy keeps on phoning me. I can get rid of him. I can't get rid of him. I can't. Is this true? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cuando me casé, me deshice de toda mi vieja ropa. When I got married, I get rid of... En el pasado, ¿no? I got rid of all my old clothes. Clothes or clothes? Clothes. Clothes. Todo el mundo dice clothes, no sé por qué. Clothes, la ropa. El Real Madrid se deshizo de su entrenador anterior. Real Madrid got rid of their old manager. Real Madrid got rid of their old manager. Very good. We never say mister, and it's not very common to say trainer or coach either when we're talking about football. We usually say the manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Vocabulario. Let's look at eight more words then, Annie. Starting with almond. Almendra. Good. To blackmail. Chantajear. Chantajear. También existe como sustantivo. Blackmail is chantaje. To encourage. Animar. Animar. Y nunca se dice to encourage. Mm -hmm. To encourage. Good. Throat. Garganta. Sensitive. Sensible. 
good. A con. Un timo. Un timo, good. Faithful. Fiel. And coward. Cobardi. Cobarde, muy bien. Let's have a look at some examples then. Me encanta comer cualquier cosa que contenga almendras. I love to eat anything that contains almonds. Almonds. We don't really say almonds. Almonds. Como si fuese A-R. Almonds. A-R. Como si fuese A-R. Almonds. 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 Okay. Almonds. Again? I love to eat anything that contains almonds. Good. ¿Me estás chantajeando? Are you blackmailing me? Are you blackmailing me? Good. Todo el apoyo que he recibido me anima mucho a seguir adelante. To carry on. All the support I've received really encourages me to carry on. Encourages me. 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 Eso es. Good. Me duele la garganta desde hace varios días. We don't say my throat hurts. We say I have a sore throat. Ok. All right. En este caso con presente perfecto. ¿Vale? I have a sore... I've had. I've had a sore throat for a few days. I've had a sore throat for a few days. Cambiamos. Pareces muy sensible en este momento. You seem very sensitive at the moment. Be careful with sensitive and sensible. Sensible means sensato mm -hmm. in English. Ok, sensitive, sensible. The next one then. La excursión a las pirámides fue un timo total. The trip to the pyramids was a complete con. Siempre he sido fiel a mis principios. I've always been faithful to my principles. No quieres decírselo porque eres un cobarde. You don't want to tell her because you're a coward. Gimnasia verbal, not as many as and fewer. Last time we looked at not as much as with uncountable nouns, and we played it off against less. Of course, they are synonymous. I don't have as much money as he does, or I have less money than he does. Today, we're going to look at the equivalent structure for countable nouns, mm -hmm. okay? I don't have as many books as he has, or I have fewer books than he does, okay? All right. So we'll start by giving you examples with fewer, and I want you to express exactly the same thing with as many as. Of course, using the negative of the verb, okay? For example, we saw fewer lions than zebras on the safari would be, we didn't see as many lions as zebras on the safari. All right then, Annie, there are fewer cars in Madrid than Los Angeles. There aren't as many cars in Madrid as Los Angeles. Good. She buys fewer DVDs than CDs. She doesn't buy as many DVDs as CDs. Good. There are fewer strings on a violin than a guitar. There aren't as many strings on a violin as a guitar. There aren't as many strings on a violin as a guitar. Good. He's had fewer girlfriends than his brother has. He hasn't has. He hasn't had. He hasn't had as many girlfriends as his brother has. Good. They are playing fewer concerts than they did last year. They are not playing as many concerts as they did last year. Good. Why are there fewer chairs than there are people? Why aren't there as many chairs as there are people? She tells fewer lies than you do. She doesn't tell as many lies as you do. Wellington won fewer battles than Napoleon did. Wellington didn't win as many battles as Napoleon did. Good but he did win the battle mm -hmm. against Napoleon, the Battle of Waterloo. They lost fewer matches than their rivals did. They didn't lose as many matches as their rivals did. Good, now we'll do it exactly the other way round. I'll give you an example in the negative with as many as, and I want you to reproduce the same thing using fewer than. Okay. Okay. I didn't drink as many beers as you did at the party. I drank fewer beers than you did. Fewer. Fewer. Mm -hmm. I drank fewer beers than you did at the party. Good. Why aren't there as many women as there are men in the army? Why aren't there fewer Why women? Are there? Why are there fewer women than women? Women. Why are there fewer women than men in the army? Good. She doesn't make as many mistakes as you do. She makes fewer mistakes than you do. Good. And don't forget we say to make a mistake and not to commit a mistake. All right? All right. Los chunguitos haven't sold as many records as the Beatles have. Los chunguitos have sold fewer records than the Beatles have. Good. They didn't find as many mushrooms as they did last time. They found fewer mushrooms than they did last time. I don't read as many books as I do comics. I read, I read. I read fewer books than I do comics. Good. 
He won't win as many matches as Nadal will. He'll win fewer matches than Nadal will. There aren't as many languages in Europe as there are in India. There are fewer languages in Europe than there are in India. Good. Two more then. Why are there never as many women as there are men in a disco? Why are there always fewer women, women. women than they are men in a disco? Albacete doesn't receive as many tourists as Seville does. Albacete receives fewer tourists than Seville does. Albacete. Good, I liked your pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> Repaso de la entrega anterior, la clave del éxito, el tercer condicional. Si me lo hubiese dicho, lo habría sabido. If you had told me, I would have known. Si hubiera nevado, ¿habrías jugado en la nieve? If it had snowed, would you have played in the snow to go blank? Me quedé en blanco durante el examen. During the exam, I went blank. Espero que no me quede en blanco durante la entrevista. I hope I don't go blank during the interview. Whose? Los padres, cuyos niños participaron en la función, se sentaron en la primera fila. The parents, whose children took part in the show, sat in the front row. El coche, cuya rueda delantera se cayó, fue siniestro total. The car, whose front wheel came off, was a complete write-off. Verbos irregulares. Congelé los guisantes, pero aún no he congelado los calabacines. I froze the peas, but I haven't frozen the courgettes yet. Me mordí la lengua, pero no me mordí el labio. I bit my tongue, but I didn't bite my lip. Phrasal verb. No logro quitarme de encima este resfriado. I can't seem to shake off this cold. Not as much as... And less than. Why do you listen to less classical music than pop music? Why don't you listen to as much classical music as pop music? Vocabulario. Me encanta comer marisco acompañado de vino blanco. I love eating shellfish washed down with some white wine. Es un milagro que hayas aprobado todos tus exámenes. It's a miracle you've passed all your exams. Verbos irregulares. We're going to look now at five verbs and just work and work and work at them until we become fully agile mm -hmm. in all the different forms. Uh, the verbs are to hide, which means... Esconder. To broadcast. Emitir. Que no cambia nunca. Broadcast, broadcast, broadcast. To kneel. Arrodillarse. To shine. Brillar. And to sink. Hundirse. Okay, let's go then. Me escondí detrás de un árbol. I hid behind a tree. ¿Has escondido mis guantes? Have you hidden... Hidden. Have you hidden my gloves? Good. Emitimos la final del año pasado. We broadcast last year's final. Good. La pareja se arrodilló delante del altar. The couple knelt down in front of the altar. The altar. Se pronuncia, ¿no? Alta. Altar. Alter. Okay. Los faros brillaban en la oscuridad. The headlights shone in the dark. Good. Él siempre ha sido brillante en matemáticas. He's always shone at maths. Good. He's always shone at maths. To shine at something is to brillar en algo, ¿no? El Titanic se hundió en 1912. The Titanic sank in 1912. Good. But we pronounce it the Titanic. The, the Titanic, Titanic sank in 1912. Good. El barco que construí se ha hundido cinco veces este año. The boat I built has sunk five times in this year. ¿Cuándo se hundió el Prestige? When did the Prestige sink? Good. Okay, let's go even faster. Nunca me he arrodillado en una sinagoga. I've never knelt in a synagogue. Good. Vaughn Radio, www.vaughnradio.com, nunca ha emitido en ruso. Vaughn Radio www.voganradio.com ah. Don't forget it. <laughs> www.voganradio.com Com has never broadcast in Russia. In Russian, good. In, well, in Russia, sí, because we broadcast through internet. Oh. Los ojos del gato brillaban en la oscuridad. The cat's eyes shone in the dark. Good. La luz solar brilla en esta cueva, pero nunca ha brillado en aquella. The sunlight shines in this cave, but has never shone in that one. Muy bien. Nunca me he escondido de la policía. I've never hidden from the police. The police or the police? Police. Police. Mejor. ¿Te has escondido de la policía alguna vez? Have you ever hidden from... Hidden. Have you ever hidden from the... Police. The police, good. John se escondió de la policía el año pasado. John hid from the police last year. Good. Mis gafas de sol se hundieron en el fondo del río. My sunglasses sank to the bottom of the river. To the bottom of the river, that's true. I've lost two pairs of sunglasses, one in the river Thames <laughs> and one in the river Seine in Paris. Okay, Kevin se arrodilló cuando le pidió la mano a Jackie. Kevin knelt 
when he proposed to Jackie. Yeah, we propose to someone, pedir la mano a alguien, to propose to them. El mismo sol que brilla para nosotros, brillaba para los griegos de la antigüedad. The same sun that shines for us, shone for the ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks, no, ancient, ancient. Ancient. Good. ¿Cómo se dice cobarde? Coward. Coward, good. A continuación, escucharemos el párrafo de la semana. You're not going to believe it, but Harold left the keys in the car. We're still here, at the roadside restaurant where I called you from an hour ago, trying to find a way to break into the car. We called a local locksmith, but he hasn't arrived yet. If worse comes to worse, I'll break one of the windows. You're not going to believe it, but Harold left the keys in the car. We are still here at the roadside restaurant where I called you from an hour ago, trying to find a way to break into the car. We called a local locksmith, but he hasn't arrived yet. If worst comes to worst, I'll break one of the windows. Numeros. Los años. We're going to look at how we say dates from between the year 1000 and the year 1999. We always do it in the following way. We say the first two digits, for example, 10, and mm -hmm. then the second two. 1022, 1022. Okay. 1532, 1532. 1532, 1999, 1932. Simple as well. Okay, la batalla de Hastings tuvo lugar en 1066. The Battle of Hastings took place in 1066. Okay, the Battle of Hastings is an extremely important date in British history because it was the last time that the British Isles were successfully invaded. Mm -hmm. Okay. La Batalla de Trafalgar tuvo lugar en 1805. The Battle of Trafalgar took place in 1805. 1805. Very good. We all say O when there's a zero there on, in the third digit. Mm -hmm. 1805, 1902, 1307. Good. And by the way, we pronounce Trafalgar, Trafalgar. Trafalgar. Siempre para llevar la contraria. Por supuesto, Colón. Y nosotros decimos también Columbus, y no Colón. Colón descubrió las Américas en 1492. Columbus discovered America in 1492. 1492, good. Inglaterra ganó el Mundial en 1966. England won the World Cup in 1966. <laughs> la Segunda Guerra Mundial terminó en 1945. The Second World War ended in 1945. The Second World War ended in 1945. Bien, mi sobrino nació en 1998. My nephew was born in 1998. In 1998, good. Mi sobrina nació en 1994. My niece was born in 1994. In 1994, muy bien. Mi tío abuelo, que sería my great uncle, my, mi tío abuelo nació en 1901. My great uncle was born in 1901. In 1901, muy bien. Mi tío bisabuelo nació en 1875. My great great uncle was born in 1875. My great great uncle. ¿Y su padre sería? My great 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 uncle. <laughs> Supongo. La batalla de Waterloo tuvo lugar en 1815. The Battle of Waterloo took place in 1805. Well, actually, it took place in 1815. 1805 was when the Battle of Trafalgar took place. All right, the next one. Mozart nació en 1756. Mozart was born in 1756. 50 or 50? <laughs> 50. Mejor. Mozart was born in 1756. La Revolución Francesa tuvo lugar en 1789. The French Revolution took place in 1789. Bueno, it started in 1789. Mejor dicho. <laughs> bueno, muy bien. Repaso. Even and not even. John tiene una colección grande de coches clásicos. Incluso tiene un Ferrari. John has a large collection of classic cars. He even has a Ferrari. Helen ha conocido a muchos famosos. Incluso ha conocido a la reina. Helen has met lots of famous people. She's even met the queen. Don't forget we don't say a famous. Mm -hmm. Siempre hay que añadir a famous person. O en okay. este caso, famous people. También podemos decir, por supuesto, a celebrity. ¿Vale? Mm -hmm. Un famoso. ¿Cómo se dice Timo? A con. A con. Good. Ni siquiera sé tu nombre. I don't even know your name. Ni siquiera puedo cocinar una tortilla. I can't even cook an omelette. Let's. Vámonos. Let's go. Comamos. Let's eat. Tomemos una para el camino. Let's have one for the road. ¿Cómo se dice garganta? Throat. Good. ¿Y me duele la garganta? I have... Sore throat. I have a sore throat. Good. No paguemos. Let's not pay. No lo hagamos. Let's not do it. 
Él es muy sensible al frío. He's very sensitive to the cold. Esto es un timo. This is a con. Eres un cobarde. You're a coward. Mi padre me animó mucho. My father encouraged me a lot. Mi perro es fiel. My dog is faithful. Chantajear no es la mejor forma de conseguir tus objetivos. Blackmailing isn't the best way to achieve your objectives. ¿Cómo se dice almendra? Almond. Almond. Good. Not as many as and fewer. There are fewer people in Madrid than in London. Try to say the same thing now using as many as. And of course the verb goes in negative. There aren't as many people in Madrid as in London. And in London, good. ¿Cómo se dice chantajear? To blackmail. To blackmail, muy bien. He's had fewer awards than his brother has, again. He hasn't had as many awards as his brother has. Muy bien, irregular verbs. ¿Sabes cuándo se hundió el Titanic? Do you know when the Titanic sank? Nunca me he escondido de la policía. I've never hidden from the police. Kevin se arrodilló para atarse el cordón. Kevin knelt to tie up his shoelaces. Expresión de la semana. El periodista me hizo una pregunta difícil. The journalist asked me a difficult question. ¿Cómo se dice deshacerte de algo? To get rid of something. To get rid of something. Grand finale. Okay, Annie, we're going to go really, 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 really fast through absolutely everything we've looked at today. Are you ready for the challenge? I'm ready. Okie dokie. Let's get going then. Ya es hora de que nos deshagamos de esas viejas cortinas. It's about time we got rid of those old curtains. Curtains, good. ¿Cómo se dice animar? To encourage. Good. Hasta mi hermano puede cocinar una tortilla. Even my brother can cook an omelette. Even my brother... Una pequeña pausa. <laughs> can cook an omelet. Good. Necesito deshacerme de algunos kilos. Yo diría weight en vez de kilos or kilos. All right. I need to get off some weight. I need to get rid of some weight. Again? I need to get rid of some weight. Good. Más rápido. ¿Cómo se dice sensible? Sensitive. Good. ¡Corramos! Let's run. Let's run. Deberías deshacerte de tu novio. No te trata bien. You should get rid of your boyfriend. He doesn't treat you well. Excellent. There aren't as many flats in Cuenca as in Bilbao. Now try to say the same thing using the word fewer. There are fewer flats in Cuenca than in Bilbao. Good. ¿Cómo se dice fiel? Faithful. Mi tía abuela, sería my great aunt, mi tía abuela nació en 1906. My great aunt was born in 1906. In 1906. Fenomenal. There are fewer mosquitoes in Madrid than in Cádiz. Di lo mismo ahora utilizando as many as. There aren't as many mosquitoes in Madrid as in Cádiz. Good. Mi padrino nació en 1962. My godfather was born in 1962. My godfather was born in 1962. Muy bien. No le apoyemos. Let's not support him. Let's not support him. ¿Cómo se dice hacer una pregunta? To ask a question. ¿Y cómo no se dice hacer una pregunta? To make a question. <laughs> Siempre decimos to ask a question. Bien. Estudiemos inglés. Let's study English. All right. Good. Thank you very much again. And, of course, we'll see you again next week. Don't forget to study for at least 20 minutes. Bye-bye. Bye. Ya habrás dedicado más de una hora a absorber nuevos aprendizajes en inglés. Lo más normal ahora es pensar que ya sabes las estructuras presentadas en el libro. No te engañes. Si no dedicas un mínimo de 20 minutos al día, entre hoy y el domingo que viene para consolidar tus conocimientos, acabas de desperdiciar un tiempo muy valioso de tu vida. El éxito para aprender un idioma depende de solo una cosa, el esfuerzo continuo del alumno.